Engineer 775 with uh, video number two on our tractor. Elijah's helped me today. Never did get out of his PJs. Um, but uh, we are. Uh, <laughs> um, I just took this uh, cap and uh, rotor off of this magneto. This is a, y a Yco C uh, gear driven magneto, which has uh, coils in it, a primary and secondary coil. And I'm not getting any spark. So um, in order to get some spark, I'm doing the simplest thing I can do, which, uh, well, I took the cap off, cleaned a few things. I put a new condenser in it. And again, a condenser uh, captures voltage or electromo electromotive force for you geeks out there and um, dissipates it as needed. So put a new condenser in it. I think that might be helpful. If not, um, I found a great resource in Connecticut. It's called uh, Mark's Magneto Service. And uh, so from, what I, from what I have found in researching that he is the man when it comes to um, fixing magnetos and being able to test them, making sure the coils are good, that everything is in good shape, there's no cracks and anything, basically nothing going to ground, that the, this is the kill switch, this is actually how you shut the tractor off. Um, some people say if you're brave, so if there's any short or anything, you're going to get a good wallop. <laughs> but that is how you shut the tractor off. You push this button in hopes that, and hopefully, <laughs> everything is working correctly and it doesn't uh, give you a good zap. So that's it. Just put the condenser in and um, got to do, a, again, this is a hand crank. I got to fix, uh, we got to, Elijah and I are going to do a little welding job to uh, fix the hand crank and um, get this thing running. We gotta get this thing running, don't we? Yep. I'm also gonna pull the radiator out because it leaks like a sieve and we're going to work on that. Now again, the radiator, um, just to show you why I'm here, the, the coolant is gonna come in, um, it's gonna rise up here. The heat will rise up into the radiator, drop down, and then the cool coolant will go into the block down here. So that is going to create the standard thermal siphon loop that I've used in other things for heat and water and stuff like that. Well this time it's used for cooling to get rid of the heat, dumps it in a radiator and the cold fluid comes into the bottom and it keeps a loop going. So no pumps, love this old school stuff. Magnetos, thermal siphoning and um, fairly straightforward. Um, hopefully I don't need to get this magneto rebuilt or replaced. You think I'm going to get shocked? Am I going to get shocked on this one? Um, <laughs> yeah, it looks sounds like you I already guess. got shot. You don't know? Um, and so, yeah, so this tractor is, you see a lot of yellow under it. People are like, what is this thing? It's a John Deere. And the cool thing is, is that it's an industrial John Deere made in 1940. And it, there was only 434 of these made. And so that's what makes this tractor kind of cool really cool and how you identify it it's got this transportation pedal and this actually overrides the governor so when you're going down the road you can override the governor and get about three four maybe five miles an hour more out of the tractor used um, with a PTO shaft which I have here would be used for like a sickle bar more along the highway so that's what the tractor was originally designed to do was to do highway um, work back in the 40s and uh, so this is a yellow tractor the original color is yellow it is a um, John Deere model L industrial they didn't call them LIs until 1941 from what I gathered but it is an industrial so technically I guess it's an LI and there's 434 of these babies made that's why we're gonna take our time and try to get her restored but we gotta get her running first don't we how are we gonna get it running Roll it down a big hill? Oh, uh, hand crank it? Hand crank it, exactly right. We've got to fix the hand crank. All right, listen to that baby. We got her going. <laughs> Woo! All right, give me five. Your knuckle bomb. All right. Awesome, Eli, you got her going. Listen to her go. Oh, sweet. Not smoking that bad. Gonna do a little more gas here. That sounds pretty darn good to me. Woohoo! Fix 
the hand crank. And you got to run it. So just took a condenser, maybe cleaning up some contacts. And that's that's pretty happy boy. You ready for take it for a ride? No. No. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, we'll, uh, we'll take it for a little ride here in a bit. She runs. I'm not gonna run her long because I don't have any cooling in it. Now is where I to test to see if I get shocked. Here we go. Oh boy, that don't work. supposed to kill it. That ain't working. It's probably gonna land me on my butt. Alright, well, one piece at a time. One piece at a time. I'll I'll choke it. He's like, what what are you saying? <laughs> Alright, we got a run in 74 year old John Deere model. L industrial and it is yellow the original color 434 made I don't know if you can hear me but she sounds good I'm just gonna choke her to I'm just gonna choke it I'll choke it that'll shut her off <laughs> all right you goose always got to be comedy hour with Elijah so, what do you think? You did great. Your first tractor fix. You have put a new condenser in it, and she fired. That is sweet. Okay. You happy? Yep. Yep. Me too. All right. That's uh, one thing down, and, you know, it's just got to go through just about everything on this. That kill switch did not work. All right. And then uh, radiator and all that. But... Awesome. Sounded good. Timing seems to be awesome. And uh, that's a good, that's promising.